Fed up with the impersonal wording on the default template inside Xero? Well, in this video, I show you how to fix that problem. As a business accountant, my team and I help business owners on their journey all day long. And one of the things our internal bookkeeping team get involved with quite often is helping people set up their cloud software. So in this particular video, we're talking about Xero, but it could also be QuickBooks and all these other cool tools that are out there right now. And one of the things we find a lot is the default templates inside Xero um, are great. It allows you to email straight from the program, but the wording can be a little bit impersonal. And if you, you know, a small business and you're building up that nice relationship with your clients and customers, it can be a little bit odd and almost robotic sometimes to say, here's your invoice, you know, there's better wording to use. So uh, what you can do is you can actually customize that wording. You know, you can do it generally. If you've ever clicked the button, and I'll show you in this video shortly how you do it, you'll bring up some text and it shows you what that's all about, but it is a little bit impersonal and you can change it. But if you're doing it in bulk, uh, keep retyping that email or tweaking it can be a bit of a pain. So I wanna show you in the settings where you can find how to change the default. So at least it's almost, in your sort of tone and then even if you want to make a few small tweaks you can so before we get into it if you like these kind of videos make sure to click the subscribe button below so you're notified whenever we release more just like it let's get into the vid so if you've used Xero before, you will be very familiar with the dashboard here, which is the main thing you see when you log into Xero. So what we're talking about is currently, when you go to email an invoice, so if we just have a look here, this is the demo company, so there's no, there's no client data in here. If we look at this invoice here from the Bayside Club and we go to email it to somebody, you get this default text. And you know, it's fine, it's fine. You might find that's completely fine, but you also might want to personalize it a little bit because it is a little bit uh, on the formal sense. So all you do is you go up to the accounting menu here, you go to advanced, and there's multiple ways of finding things here, but this is the easiest way I find to do it. Looking for organizational settings in here, you then click on email up here, email settings. I think, and this is a quite a common one that people find difficult to find. You go into templates, and then here you go. So sales invoice, that one we were just looking at, you can click on basic and you can make changes here inside of this thing. The, the things in these squared brackets are auto-filled, so you might wanna not take some of these out, it just depends how you feel, um, but you can uh, put the nice word in, in here, make it, make it a little bit more personal, and there you go, and then you can save that template. And then from then on, it'll pop up with your version, even if you wanna customize it further on an invoice, you can, but at least it, it's got like a default that's a bit more you on it. So there we go, that's today's tip. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button below and share it with anybody who you think will get some value from it. See you on the next one.